Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Cross Creek Classics. Back here at our 83 Mustang convertible project. Um, our last video, we had Blake doing some painting on the bumper and uh, the core support. And the one thing we want to do is uh, we've got to put a new AC condenser in. So I uh, found an AC condenser on eBay for like $97 shipped which is a really good price considering I found a used one for a hundred. So, uh, pays a shop around. So we're gonna get this installed. Uh, you know, this thing had been in pieces here for I don't know how long. And uh, we're, we're finding the brackets here. These are the brackets. There's a bunch of parts in the trunk. And we're assuming these are the brackets. I just gotta figure out how they go on. So, uh, got a whole bunch of hardware in here and some other stuff. So we're gonna get this installed and uh, get the front nose on here, I think. And just continue on with this. And then next step, paint-wise, is gonna be the hood. We're gonna pull the hood off, put it on our rack here once the bumper's off, and get it painted. All right, guys, so uh, a little bit of our progress here. Uh, we got the Mustang back up on the lift. I've been working on the lights in the front. Got the, got the lights working here. All the plugs are working. Uh, these are the side marker lights. Get these hooked up and ready to go. Uh, we found in the box of parts these little brackets. Uh, the best I can tell is they go right here. So I'm uh, gonna find some hardware for that, get them on, get all this kind of just uh, hung um, loose, get ready for the bumper to go on. Now this is that little spot I've mentioned here too. This is kind of got a little bit of crinkling going on. So we're gonna fix that. Lay it a little bit later, and then Blake has been over here. He got the bumper masked off. This uh, strip in the middle gets painted black to match the body side moldings. So he's got a can of uh, SEM trim black. So he got the scuffed up, wiped down, tacked off, and he is going to uh, get it painted up. All right, guys, so we get this all painted. We're gonna peel our paper off now. See how good our masking was. Alright guys, so it come up pretty nice. The masking lines come up pretty good. Now the one thing I want to mention, um, you know, these headlight buckets and grill are supposed to be black also. Um, I was never a fan of the blacked out headlight buckets. So we're going to leave it silver for now. And the grill, we may leave it silver too. Uh, we're kind of liking how it looks. That's easily changed once it's on the car, but we're gonna leave it leave it go like that, get it together and see what you know, see how it looks, see what we think, and maybe just you know, just put our little artistic liberties to work and uh just leave it go like that. Figure once you get the headlights in, get the um you know the four blue oval back on, it'll break it up. But I'm kinda liking it so far how it's looking. So um next step guys is to get it on and uh, get it mounted up here. We got these these little 
lower fender braces on. I got uh, all the clips in the fenders. Mess around with the hood a little bit here. We're gonna leave the hood on, get all this aligned, and then pull the hood off to paint it. Uh, that way we can uh, do some work on it here uh, while the hood is being worked on. So um, that's the next step. All right, guys, so we got our bumper about ready to put on. Put a couple finishing touches on here. We got the uh, marker lights in. Blake got some of the couple of the headlights in. Got the blue oval one. And uh, I did some things on here too. We got the lights hooked up. Make sure all the wiring's good. And uh, fix this little area under here real quick. So uh, we're gonna get the bumper on and get it lined up and get the fenders lined up. And then we're gonna take the hood off the paint. We got our bumper bolted on. We just bolted it to the fender edges. I want to rack, be able to rack the uh, front clip side to side to get our hood gap against the fender good. We have a nice gap here at the cowl. So uh, we want to just take the fenders this way in and out. And uh, it'll locate where the gap's got to be. So it looks pretty decent. Paint match pretty good. We're still going to buff the rest of the car out. You know, we've got to do the pinstripe yet. Didn't want to do that till it was on. So uh, let's get this, uh, let's get these fenders lined up. So we got our bumper all attached to the car. Blake got the headlights all in. We turned them on, they all work. We have all these little miscellaneous brackets installed. Now um, everything lined up pretty decent here. Pretty decent gaps. So um, our next thing is uh, to replicate this um, pinstripe here. It comes down double line all the way to here. And from what I can tell, the end is finished off with a little piece to connect it to on the bottom corner. So I got some paint here mixed up. I got some Ford engine blue and a little bit of black. And I got a pretty good match, I think, for this color. So uh, I want to get this masked off and get these stripes painted. All right, guys, so I got the uh, pinstripes all painted. I think the paint matched pretty darn good. It's kind of hard to tell in the film here, but uh, looks all right. And I got this side all done, masked off. We're gonna paint it next, but I think I wanna pull this side off. Well, oh, it's still a little tacky. We did this with the Lincoln when we did it too, and it, uh, I think it kept the lines crisper. Makes one take that off me. There you go. Put that there. Now we have a little bit of bleeding. Wow. It's quality. Yeah.
So I got this side done. This side come out better than the other side did. Um, pretty happy with the paint. The paint match pretty decent, I think, color-wise with the stripe for just mixing up in the uh, garage here. So on the other side, I took that paint off and remasked this. We're going to hit this again. Um, maybe it'll come out better this time. I think I forgot to press this down real good to get my edges crisp. So uh, hopefully this time it'll come out better. All right, guys, so I got the uh, this side all done. Come out better the second time. So that's it for the pinstriping. Next thing we're going to do is uh, put this rocker molding back on. So we got uh, the rocker molding on, got our wheel well liners in the front. Just tacking this thing back together. Got the air conditioning condenser, new one installed. Got the lines hooked up. Got a pull vacuum on it yet. And we got Blake over here doing, uh, putting a little bit of mud on the on the hood. And we had a couple little spots there. This this hood was in primer already. And uh, got to sand it down here with some 220, and had a couple pretty deep gouges with some rust. So we're going to uh, like grind them down to the bare metal. We're filling with a little bit of mud here. So next thing's going to be get this sanded down, get a coat of high build on it, block it out, and get it painted. Well, Blake got uh, three nice coats on this hood here. We had a couple couple deep scratches. We want to make sure they were filled in. So I'm going to let this dry overnight and uh, come back tomorrow with it and block it out and maybe get it painted tomorrow. All right, guys, so uh, Blake and I got this all wet sanded here. All we had to do was throw some guide coat on, block it out, come up pretty nice. So let's get our sealer on, then we're gonna let that dry and throw a couple coats of uh, silver on here.
We got the hood all painted. So the next step is here, let this dry and we'll get it, uh, do a quick buffing on it and get it on the car. And um, that should be it for that. All right guys, so uh, we got our hood installed here. Blake and I got this on and uh, luckily for us, we end up getting the original hood from the car that was smashed. So uh, all the hardware and stuff was intact still. And then we uh, were able to salvage the old hood insulation. It's not in the best shape, but uh, it is original to the car. It looks like an original 40 year old hood insulation. And I uh, was able to peel the sticker off here with Blake's help. We heated it up and reapplied the, uh, the emission sticker back on. So just something else just to throw on there. Uh, got the hood latch all installed, the uh, pop-up springs installed. Got a little bit of uh, grease on the hardware. So Blake's going to put the prop rod down. And we've got the hood all adjusted here the best we can. So he's going to give it a little, sl a little slam. But paint matched pretty decent, I think. There's Blake over there. He's pretty proud with his work. Oh, really? Yeah. But, uh, you know, this is what it is. We just kind of want to get it all together uh, so we can get rid of it. But we are going to hit it with a buffer. Um, want to buff the whole car out. So I think uh, the hood will have a little more shine to it once we hit it with the buffer. Like I said, this is just, uh, you know, shop line acrylic enamel with a hardener. Uh, so I think there's two, maybe three coats on the hood, two or three coats on the bumper. And we had, that's all we had. We had a quart of paint. Um, you know, I didn't want to put a whole lot of money in it. So it is what it is. It looks better than what it did when, we, when it came here. So that's going to be it for this, guys. Um, as always, appreciate you liking and subscribing and watching our stuff. Blake and I appreciate it. Uh, if you have any comments, whether they be good or bad, we'll take them. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.